Hey there everybody, it is me, I am April, and I am the Wolf Ranch Girl. And let me tell you what, I am a hot mess express tonight. I don't, any time this phone can just fall right off of the phone stand, it's done it about five times already. But, God willing, we're going to talk about the question that I've gotten most on any group that I'm in, um, in real life, across YouTube, across Instagram, and... That is what is my hair routine. So let's get started. Welcome to my bathroom floor. If you hear a low murmur in the background, it's because I'm sitting on my bathroom floor getting ready to show you guys these products and um, I am freezing. I've been freezing all day, so um, I'm warming up the bathroom to take a bath anyway and thought that I would answer some questions. So I posted a question in one of the groups that I'm in about long denim jackets or longer denim jackets kind of like the utility jackets and regular denim jackets and I actually got more responses about my hair than I did about the jackets so I get asked all of the time um, what I do to my hair um, I have naturally curly hair it is coarse and um, at 42 probably the last five years I probably you know, come to terms with my hair and um, I'll insert, insert some pictures in different places so that you guys can kind of see it. Um, those of us with curly hair, you understand the pain. We just, when we say that our hair does what it wants, it literally does what it wants. Um, and I've been fighting with it my whole life always wanting straight hair always wanting thin hair um, mine's very thick uh, I just got it cut but it was very long <laughs> it's very very curly from the uh, scalp to the end and sometimes that can be hard to deal with so I used to have a really extensive sorry my mat's moving um, hair regimen I guess and probably when I was about 32 I finally started doing my own research and found that you're really not supposed to wash your hair every day um, probably when I was around 25 I realized that I couldn't just go out to Walmart or Kroger or Costco or Sam's or any place like that and just buy um, like suave shampoos or anything like that so for probably almost the last 20 years I've been using salon products on my hair and they have changed but these are the two for about the last two years that I've been switching in between so I wash my hair anywhere from two to three times a week of course if I shower I mean especially in the summertime I shower every day I just don't wash my hair every day but if I do get my hair wet I will always condition it always so I'll always condition it no matter what, but I only actually use shampoo two or three times a week, depending. So sometimes, you know, if we're doing a fire or something like that out at the um, fire patio, then of course I don't want to smell like smoke, so I'll wash my hair extra. But most of the time I try to stick to two or three times a week for that. But anytime my hair gets wet, I put conditioner in it. That is the biggest thing with my hair with generally, um, or with curly hair in general, is that it tends to be very dry. So is the more that you can condition it and keep that moisture in there, um, the better. So then what I used to do, after I would wash my hair, um, I'd put conditioner in it, tie it up um, into a little bun with a clip and let it sit there while I did all the rest of my um, bathing regimen, you know, shaving, washing your body, all that kind of stuff. And then, um, I take it down and comb through it only with a wide tooth comb, which I do have an example of right here. If I can, whoops, if I can find it. Okay. With a wide tooth comb like this. And that is really the only time I brush my hair. 
when it is wet and it has conditioner in it and only with a wide tooth comb. So I get all the tangles out um, and then if possible I put it back up and let it let the conditioner stay in there and that is the last thing I do before I turn off the shower and dry off is um, rinse the conditioner out. So then after that what I used to do was do a combination of matrix um, total results long damage break fix so I do two or three pumps of this along with two or three pumps of this red redken curvaceous um, curl serum and then just scrunch that into my wet hair and then let it hair dry or air dry and that's all I would do um, if I needed to my hair's coarse so if I need to style it it usually holds curls really well I mean obviously it's curly but if I wanted to clean up the curls and make them look more uniform and not so wild or if I wanted to do more of a beach wave because I have very spirally curly hair sometimes I would have to put in this um, texturizing spray or even to try and get some height at my crown or at the um, roots the texturizing spray but I don't use any of this anymore like it was to the minute to the science I could tell if I was going to have to completely start over again just by how dry my hair was um, if I didn't get the products in soon enough. And all of that changed last March when I discovered this. So let's see if we can get this to focus there. Okay, this is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. And it is absolutely amazing this is 10 ounces it probably was like $34 but I got it on sale um, in one of the events that they were having and I don't know if you can tell but um, so since last March this is how much I've used and there is still so I probably used half of the container it smells absolutely fabulous um, I only use about this much on my hair and I use this every time I get out of the shower. It smells fabulous. I'm getting ready to take a shower, so it's fine. I even rub it into my hands after, <laughs> after I'm finished <laughs> with it. It smells so good and it has made such a huge difference on my hair. So now I will still follow my um, shampoo and conditioner routine. Um, if I'm going to do, like tonight, what I'm probably going to do is um, take a shower and bring in one of my turby twists with me, get my hair all washed, and then I'm actually going to use this as the hair mask and put it in my hair a lot thicker than what I just did and just let it sit there inside the turby twist wrap and then rinse it out, um, you know, just pat it dry um, and then get more of this, about the amount that I showed you, and then just squish it into my curls. Um, I do try to not put it really close to the roots because it is very conditioning so it can kind of weigh it down so I want to get my hair so puffy in other places I want to make sure that I have some um, height at the root and then if that's usually it you guys that's usually all I do now. Wash it, conditioner it, condition it while I'm in the shower and then afterwards I put this in and leave it in. Okay, sometimes I will use this. Um, it is by Design Me, and I got it um, at the salon that I go to, and it is called Bounce Me Curl Bomb. And it gives a lot of control and defined curls without being crunchy. So, you know what I'm talking about? The crunchy um, gel curls. It doesn't do that. So, if I want a little bit more control, then I will put this in. Um, so just these two things now is what I use. Oh, one more thing. Since I do have um, blonde highlights or caramel colored highlights along with red and then my natural brown color, every once in a while, probably every two weeks or so, I will shampoo with this. This is the uh, Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo and um, my stylist said that that would probably be fine because I noticed towards the, you know, a few months in, my blonde starts getting a little brassy and I didn't even know anything about purple shampoo because I'm not a normal blonde. Um, but I do 
substitute this in every couple weeks for um, the regular shampoo that I use to keep those blonde highlights blonde and not brassy. All right, pretty much as soon as this video is done, this um, camera holder that I have is going right into the trash because this is like the third take of this and I can't take it anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. But I've had my hair up in this turvy twist for about 20 minutes since I got out of the shower and I've just had the um, Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine hair mask sitting in there. Um, I get enough out of the tub uh, really to just cover these three fingers. I rub it around both my hands and then scrunch it up in there. And so let's go ahead and take this down. This is not the most flattering angle for sure. Let's move this. Okay. So I'm not trying to be cousin it or anything, but just want look at how shiny it is. Okay. So tonight, what I did was um, I washed my hair with the purple shampoo, and then instead of using the extreme conditioner, I put this in as a hair mask and put this on in the shower, then um, left it in while I did all of my other stuff, and then rinsed it out, got out of the shower, just kind of uh, towel dried it, and then put more of this in. So I will insert a picture. Um, or add a comment of some kind to let you know what this looks like after it's dry. So I wish that my hair looked like this all the time, but it doesn't. Okay guys, so it is um, 7, like 20 in the morning the next morning and just wanted you to see what my hair looks like after um, just washing and putting in the Colleen Rothschild. I have not put anything else in um, and aside from a little bit of bed head. Um, it's looking really good. The curls are in really good shape and um, I'm probably just going to pin my bangs back because I have to go to school today and will be wearing a mask, but um, it actually looks really good and yeah. So that is the end. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, look into my hair routine and I promise I'll try and look better and wear makeup in the next video. But um, I hope you found this uh, valuable and will help all of my um, fellow curly girls or any of you guys that have straight hair but kids with curly hair will help them. And uh, so anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and um, comment with anything that you do if you have curly hair. I would love to know that. So thanks and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so this will be the last portion of um, the video. I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like. Um, right now it's kind of a mess because I just got done working out, but um, what my hair looks like after being masked all day. So I was like this and all of the hot air was coming out to the sides here. Um, and so you can see how these strands of hair have kind of loosened up and separated and the same thing over here. But if you look towards the back, um, all of the curls are still there and they're still intact and they look really nice and they're not frizzed out. And that is um, because I didn't have that hot, humid hair hitting it all day. So this is just my naturally curly hair, um, a little bit frizzy, but not bad at all. And I don't have any product in it other than the um, Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine um, Restorative Mask. And it looks pretty good, I think, just for having nothing in it. Um, prior to me using this, I would not have been able to leave my hair down at all. It would have been probably out here, super frizzed out and everything. And, um, so that product has been life changing for me for sure. So that is like my number one recommendation. Not that I am anybody except for a girl with curly hair, but that would be my number one recommendation for anybody, um, to try if they have coarse curly hair. So anyway, 
I hope you like this video and the updates um, that I was able to go through with the day. And if you have any questions about anything that I do or any of the products that I use, um, you can go ahead and message me and I'll be happy to get back with you. And then I will try and remember to put links to all of those things down in the description box. So again, thanks for watching and have a great day.